welcome back to my channel i know it's been quite a while and i'm here with no makeup on because it's not about me it's not about the makeup i'm showing you guys well just yeah showing you guys how i transformed a little space in my room into a space where i can study the bible spend time with god spend time in the word of god because i've been really enjoying it a lot lately um you know with all this time we have been in quarantine and stuff like that i've really been by his grace using it to spend more time in his presence so i wanted a space that could just be beautiful and cute and specifically assigned for nothing but reading the word of god so if you are interested then just stay tuned okay guys so this is the space that i want to transform into my reading corner um war room it's i don't know how big you guys can see it or whatever but yeah so i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna remove everything from here and yeah completely transform it okay guys so i've moved everything we've even moved our bed now that we've moved the bed i don't even know if i'm happy that we've moved the bed but Let's just keep going. Take down the photos. <laughs> no, like, no, be careful. Did just come off? Oh no! So I'm a bit annoyed that we've done this to the ceiling, but you know what? We move. <laughs> um, yeah. Guys, this is what we have so far. My husband is so amazing. Like he helped me to put everything. And when I walk in guys, it's like a little bedroom. So I just want to speak you guys through um, this little table here. It's like one of my most favorite, favorite purchases of this whole little space. Um, it's like a laptop table, hence why it's got these little holes on it. So your laptop can get some air in case it gets too hot. And I think I got it for like 22 pounds from eBay. I will link it down below in the description box, but I really love it. It's got this little drawer on the side. It can't really hold pens, but you can still put little whatever you want in there. And I just love it because it just means that if I'm reading my Bible, I can have my Bible propped up and in front of me. And then on the side here, sometimes I like to put maybe my Bible journal and just make notes and stuff like that. But I just thought it was such a cute little thing to add to this space. Okay guys, I've just got this orchid and my husband just bought it for me from Morrison's. Behind the orchid, I've got this box here and it was one pound um, from Poundland. And in it, I've got a few Bible journals, a few Bibles, um, and that's it basically. Just all the kind of th things that I will need. Um, some plain paper there at the back. And then on the wall, I've just written like this little prayer. And then I've just put this, an inspiring, just something inspiring on the back of the wall. I would love to fill the wall with loads of inspiring, maybe Bible scriptures or, um, quotes and this here is like a beanbag chair um let me step back so it looks kind of crooked at the moment because we literally just just took it out and um it's meant to like inflate more and it's like inflated a bit since we got it but just something comfortable to sit on whilst i'm reading my bible Let's talk about the roof, okay? I should have spoken about that first, not the roof, but um, this is basically a mosquito net, a square mosquito net. It was an extra large mosquito net that I got from Amazon. And we've just had to kind of hook it up at the top there because I didn't want it all the way down, but it comes down on all four sides.
and also guys these lights are um they're just like some wall fairy lights that i got from amazon i believe they were like 8.99 and we've just hooked them up at the top everything that i bought that is from like amazon or ebay i'm going to link it down down below This cute rug is from Amazon and the little bit of carpet that we're using for this space is just extra carpet we had left over from when we had our carpet done. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you liked it, please like, subscribe and share, comment down below, let me know what you think.